I say, Emily, isn't this a beautiful place? I say, they know how to look after themselves. You and me's paying for it. Where do we go? Oh, we'll ask that cleaning lady there. Hi, have you any houses? I have no houses, dear. You would have to ask the lady at the reception. Ma'am? Can I help you? As we Davy and the wee lad that used to be her rent fairly started here on Monday last as the inn. Mr. Cunningham. Oh, I don't think he'll be able to do much for you. He's on the next floor. You get a lift round the corner. I will, thanks very much. Not at all. I hit these old hoists. So do I, but you're better than walking. Hello, we loud. Hello. We're here. I see that. Were you able to speak for her? Well, uh, come this way and I'll see what I can do. Yes. Sir, Mrs. Beatty, the lady I told you about, is oh, here. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, come in, sit down, please. Mrs. Beatty, this is the executive. Oh, many happy returns. Hello, hello, Mrs. <laughs> hello Mrs. Beatty, this is your mother. He should be pensioned off, but heavens, he can't even see. What's your name? Uh, my name is O'Rourke. O'Rourke. <laughs> yes, O'Rourke. I made a known. Seamus Ignatius O'Rourke. Seamus Ignatius. <laughs> Do you see, as far as getting the house concerned, you have no bloody pup's chance. Adam, what did you say? I'm just saying, as far as getting the house, the house she has the present, you couldn't do a found dance. <laughs> I'll leave the application form. Will you get me uh, one? Yes, uh, where are they kept, sir? Well, of course, you're new here. You don't know. I'll show you. They're at the door here. <laughs> no, Lily, I don't think I have a hope in hell of getting a house here. I would need to wait to have five or six children. <laughs> do you have five or six children, Emily? But God, you may adapt them. <laughs> Or go out and kidnap them for your while he's past and dear. <laughs> Just tell him you're intimidated. Uh, no, I, don't, uh, I will need to take down your particulars. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> I need this lady here. That's what you have to do to get a house, isn't it? All the things you've been through. All Before he would think you'd take down your particulars, dirty brute. <laughs> Report him or send for will I? <laughs> All I want is your name. Oh, Emily. Emily. Do you know nothing? It's Mrs. Beatty, so it is. Mrs. Beatty. Mrs. Beatty, yes. 29 turns on Hill Street. Uh, <laughs> and uh, when did you come to live in that street? Well, I can tell you that you come. I was only a wee girl at the time, and she was just married. Uh, mm -hmm. I, oh, uh, would have seen her. It was a sad, it was a sad day you moved in. I meant it well, for I wasn't at my school. Quite, yeah. Still, it could have been another day, for it was the summertime. It was the summertime you were married. You come there yes, just after yes. she was married. I meant as well play in the street, and you were just married, and a horse and cart come up the street with your couple of sticks on it. Quite, quite. And dear, help us stuff was hanging out of her sofa, wasn't it? <laughs> and uh, was it that? Oh, I mean, it was a horse and cart for like the horse stopped at my ma's door and did it all it had to do. Like, and <laughs> my ma just come out and she ran up with a brush. My ma was like that. Well, could have been the summertime, maybe it was a Thursday or even a Tuesday you moved I, in. I only want to know how long ago it was. Well, isn't that what I'm telling you? No, yes, but well, how many years? Oh, years, I can tell you that. Now, I was a wee thing running about. I was only 13 at the time. I'm sure she's much older than I am. I was only 13 at the time, and you were married, and you come there. Well, that'd be about 12, 17 years, 8 from 16, it's four, about 12 years. 12 years? Well, I would say years, 12, I, mean. I would say yeah, that. About 1961, then. That's not at all. It was long before uh, that. Well, give or take a year, it'd be <laughs> all right. That's all right, that'll do. Now, uh, what is your husband's profession? <laughs> Yes, what does he work at? What do you mean, profession, like? Emily, Ireland's a land of saints and scholars. Behind you must be one of the saints. 
profession. What does he work at? Well, he doesn't work at nothing, dear. He's on the barrow. Oh, I see. You mean to tell me he's unemployed? No, no. Well, generally speaking, that is. Generally speaking, he's either unemployed or he isn't. I mean, if he goes to the Labour Exchange every week, well, then he's wholly unemployed, isn't he? He's a gag, your man. <laughs> Go, the English are green, aren't they? There's a lot of people in Belfast not wholly employed, but they're in the brew every day of the week. <laughs> Her man's the same. Listen, you. My Willie doesn't lift brew under false pretenses. My Willie is as honest as the day's long. Gets dark early now, Emily, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll just pass over that question. Now, tell me, Mrs. Beatty, um, uh, what is your age? 29. <laughs> She's a gig when you get her started, says. I am 29. Mm, well, uh, what is your husband's age, then? Oh, uh, well, 37. 37. Well, I heard that he will. He's 37. You were looking at his age through a mirror, dear. <laughs> 73 was your day. Oh, my God. Well, now, uh, uh, tell me, Mrs. Beattie, um, uh, this house that you're living in at the moment, now, do you own this house or is it a rented house? That's neither, it's borrowed. <laughs> it's rented oh. at 12 and sixpence per week. Per week? Per week. Yes. You only pay 12 and six per week? Per week. Perhaps. <laughs> no, um... I'm sorry, that, that, that seems to me to be a very modest rent. I mean, you've got to understand that there are hundreds and hundreds of people who'd be only too glad to be just paying 12 and sixpence a week. You've got to realise the great shortage of houses there is in Belfast these days. No, I'm sorry, I can't consider your application at all. I'm sorry, no. No. Do you mean, uh, no? No. No, that's what he said. No, he said. Do you mean to say I'm not going to get a house? No, no. No. Oh, Lily, what am I going to do? Lily, I'll have to get out of that street. What am I going to do? Tell him. What? Tell him what I tell you. What did you tell when him? When I tell you, tell him. What was that? This lady was intimidated, weren't you? Intimidated? She oh, was yes, intimidated. Was intimidated. <laughs> she was intimidated. She got a ladder. You got a ladder. Yes, she got, got a ladder. ladder. <laughs> she got a ladder. No stamp on. No ladder. No stamp. It was anonymous. You got a letter and you were intimidated. She was intimidated. Well, will you bring this letter to me? Give it to me. Bring oh, it. I, I forgot it. I, I forgot, forgot it. it. Yes, she yes, forgot, forgot it. it. Yeah, Mr. Cunningham. Uh, Mr. Cunningham, there's a fresh development here. This this puts a fresh complexion on the whole business. Oh, stop flattering me. I only use soap and water. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I mean, um, Mr. Cunningham, uh, this lady here that you recommended, she seems to be in very serious trouble. Very serious trouble? Mm. Ach, not at her age. Don't be down for me, <laughs> sake. Wishful thinking. Uh, Mrs. Beatty, this intimidation is a very serious thing these days. Now, will you go straight home, please, and get me the letter? Get the ladder. Yes, yes. I'm going to try and get the ladder. We will get the ladder, yes. Come on, get the ladder. He said he would do his best, Daniel. He couldn't depend on them. What are we going to do now? I think the only thing to do is get somebody to rate the ladder and intimidate <laughs> them. Couldn't do that. Here, maybe they might put me in one of them skyscraper flats. I don't think I'm wise moving well, at desperate all. desperate were you in a skyscraper flat? Desperate. You'd hear a knock at the door and you'd run and jump out the back window to avoid the rent. Man, you get a hell of a drop, I'm like. 